Day one of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee is in full swing and the GOP ticket is official. Donald Trump will be the Republican candidate for president on the 2024 ballot. News 8 Now's Ken Kowzorowski is live in Milwaukee with a breakdown of all the day's activity. Ken. Emily, good evening. Day one of the RNC is currently has rain, currently has lightning, and it has also had thunderous applause for now their new nominee for the third time, Donald J. Trump. And this was essentially a foregone conclusion given the primary season, but especially after surviving that assassination attempt on Saturday, every delegate here in Milwaukee was more than happy to call out their vote for Trump. The great state of Wisconsin proudly casts all of its 41 votes for Donald J. Trump. A tradition to kick off opening day of the Republican National Convention, with Wisconsin Republicans agreeing the National Party has never been more unified under President Trump. People saw the Donald Trump that I've known for a very long time. He was shot in the head with a high-powered rifle, fell to the ground so he wouldn't get shot anymore, and the, his first instinct was to stand up, raise his fist in defiance with blood running down his face, and told American citizens to continue to fight for their freedoms. But the big question was, who would Trump choose to join his ticket? The former president ultimately choosing 39-year-old Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Vance was extremely critical of Trump in 2016, referring to him as cultural heroin. But since running for Senate in 2022, Vance has been one of Trump's most vocal allies in Congress. Very compelling personal story. He is a Midwesterner. And since Wisconsin this year is not one of 50 states, we're one of about seven. They're going to decide this presidential contest. Uh, that is very, very important. And frankly, thirdly, I can't wait to see him on the debate stage with Vice President Harris. J.D. Vance was raised in abject rural poverty in the meanest circumstances you, you could be. He left his home as a young man and joined the military, served his country honorably. Vance is against abortion, opposes U.S. intervention in foreign conflicts, and has also spoken out against potential cuts to Social Security. Now delegates and lawmakers will look forward to Trump's message to close out the convention later this week, a message they're confident will resonate. I think the president kind of wants to encompass the moment, uh, this tragedy, and use it as a way to kind of bring the country together. And the applause was resonating tonight when Donald Trump made a brief appearance around the 9 o'clock hour to, again, thunderous applause. They are behind their man, Donald Trump.